Hello everyone, a very warm welcome to you once again. It's Nick here, which I'm sure you all knew. We're on the Commodore Amiga, and we're playing a run and gun called Fernandez Must Die, published by Imageworks in 1988. Uh, also come out on the Amstrad CPC, the Atari ST, Commodore 64, and the ZX Spectrum, which we're yet to cover. So why has everyone got it in for Fernandez then? Well, Fernandez is a despot who has invaded the Republic of El Diablo, wherever that is, and you've been called to destroy Fernandez's hideouts and liberate the people. So here we go. Now there's eight levels. You have unlimited bullets, and it's all like a commando clone as I drive forward in this jeep. You can pick up medic packs and uh, grenades. Uh, run over people if you can do, avoid all the bullets. Now when you're in one of these jeeps like this, a uh, number of shots and then the thing will catch fire and that's that. But it's moving quite well. Uh, I think I prefer Dogs of War to this one. It does look a little bit uh, basic, a bit cartoony. Uh, but um, yeah, it's, it's on a level with the Commando version on the Amiga, which incidentally I preferred on the ZX Spectrum. There's an armory there, which I think we should have blown the door down, but who cares. Uh, there's a posh um, house. Uh, armory generally gets you better weapons. Um, who needs weapons? There is a cheat on this, which I'm not using so far. Basically, if you pause the game and type in Spiny Norman, hello everyone, um, then um, that you get infinite lives. Now, the car has caught fire. I'm driving this like a drunkard forklift driver. If you are a drunkard forklift driver, then get your eyes back on the road, or the warehouse, or wherever you are. If you had this one back in the day on any system at all, let me know. This is the first time I've ever played it, and that's looking pretty obvious. If you hold down the fire button, you will launch a rocket. You see in the top middle there uh, how many rockets I've got left. I think it says seven, does it? It says seven. There's a medic base. But we shoot down the door there, maybe we can get energy back. But I'm on foot now, as you can see. Weaving left and right. It's a bigger play area than Commando, but do check out my review, well, years ago of Dogs of War. Uh, that was a bit more arcadey than this. Uh, I don't think the graphics are quite as good, but I think it played a bit better. Now, don't try and shoot everyone, because they will regenerate, and it will go on and on and on. There are eight levels to this, I think I mentioned, uh, but the levels are absolutely huge. If I get to the end of even one level, I'll be absolutely flabbergasted. But this is just seeing how the game plays. Is it worth tracking down? Now, it isn't the best running gun in the world, but it's an okay running gun. If you had it back in the day and you really liked it, let me know. We'd love to know your opinions, because if you played it more than me, you probably saw more of the game than what we're going to see here. And you might have a more educated opinion, but these reviews are pretty much seeing how your, uh, as a kid, how your games would have gone the first or second go, and would you have got enough enjoyment out of it to ever load it ever again, or would you have sold it, or pretended it didn't work and taken it back to the shop? But um, I would have persevered with it a little bit, but um, yeah, there's something about it which doesn't feel quite like a 16-bit game. It feels like a bit uh, a very souped-up 8-bit game. Are these 16-bit graphics? I'm a little bit dubious. Uh, but anyway, oh, uh, there's a wash house there. Oh, there's another jeep which I could have got in, but we've just run past it like a nincompoop. Yeah, we we definitely need that jeep. Now you can you can make better progress in the jeep. Uh, with stuff firing at all, you, all the time. I'm not doing too badly here by my own uh, abysmally low standards, but one full stop in the bottom, like that or the head, and you're dead. My lives, which you probably already clocked, you can see across the top left, there's guys bobbing up and down, which means I've got two lives left. I'm desperate for this to go to the end of the level, because I want to see, like Commando, is there a special fortress where lots of people come out and you can just stand one side and just shoot them? If you didn't recognise it, this is the, Repub the Republic of El Diablo, game over. Um, if you're from the Republic of El Diablo, then comment below, let us know. So that's how a go looks without cheating. Let's put a cheat mode on for infinite lives. Fernandez must die. I don't think he's going to die today. If you did kill Fernandez, well, shame on you. But he is a despot. Um, I, where is the Republic of El Diablo? I'm presuming it's somewhere in South America. I'm pausing the game, folks. Spiny Norman. Uh, yes. Right, now, how do I restart it? Oh, God, I knew the button to pause it. How do I restart it? Oh, no, push everything. Spacebar, J, X, F2. Uh, Spectrum didn't have that. This has been, uh, not Spectrum, the Amiga. The Amiga did have an F2 button, didn't it? There we go. I'm mixing my computers up like a nincompoop because I'm, I'm struggling to see this as an Amiga game. Bomb. There we go. That's him dead. Yeah. 
Good. Good to own one of these Jeeps. Um, I'll tell you what, though. The, the only cheat I've got for this is infinite lives. I think a much better cheat would be immunity, because this car's already on fire. Uh, they've got the barriers down, which I can't seem to drive through this. Um, now, the only vehicles I've found so far is the Jeep. If you know of any of other vehicles later on, like tanks and stuff, uh, let me know about that as well, because it'd be interesting to have different vehicles. Be good if this game had two players at the same time, that would lift it ever so slightly. But it's laid out well, but uh, graphically, as I say, I think it could be a bit better. Uh, colours are nice. Um, yeah. Uh, the gunshots are quite good. I do like the people, or the sounds. Um, I do like the, uh, the noise of the guys dying. That's okay, but the Amiga generally was very good at sound. Had some quite impressive sound chips or architecture in there. I'll let uh, an expert in the comment section go into that a bit more deeply because I, I'm not a techno bod. I'm just a game player, so I jump on, play the games, often very badly, then come out. I don't know what chips are going on under the hood. I don't know what type of keyboard it is or anything like that. I, ju I just run around firing full stops at people, or are they snowballs? One of the two. So this is, this is sort of like a, a Rambo sort of character, a Commando-esque fellow. It might be Arnold Schwarzenegger, it might be Sylvester Stallone, it might be Sylvester the Cat. But it's certainly a top super soldier. Keep out, that says. We're going to ignore that. God, these levels go on longer than Swiv, don't they? Come on, let's keep going. I've lost about a zillion lives so far. But as you can see, my men across the top this time. There's a whole platoon there. We're going to zip through here like nobody's business. Now, there must be a way of demolishing these walls. So I think I might get stuck soon as we weave between the trees. Uh, another problem seems to be of this game is guys seem to just be able to generate just off the screen and come on and shoot you in the hip. In real life, you've probably seen them coming from quite a distance. But here, my preferable, preferable vision is, is with zero to one side. How do I get in there? There must be a way of getting through the fence like you used to do as a kid through at firework night. It cost you five pounds to get to the park or whatever to see the fireworks, or there was that gap in the fence that those kids in the know knew about, and you zip through. At time of recording, it's coming up to uh, fireworks night, so um, look out for the gap in the fence. You didn't hear it from me, though. Now, this game, I need to find armories and knock down the windows or the doors to actually get in there, because I believe you get meteor guns and weapons and uh, get uh, more grenades. There's a jeep there again. Should we get in it this time? Or should we go and have a wash? Um, let's, let's get in the jeep, folks. Oh, I've been shot in the head a million times. But anyway, I jump up like that, as everyone does. You can recover from a million shots in the head in, in these games. I don't think this come out in the arcades, if you know different, but Fernandez must die. It's not a very PC title, is it? If you are watching this and your name just happens to be Fernandez, um, uh, apologies, this isn't about you. It's another Fernandez. It's a despot Fernandez. Now, if you're watching this called Fernandez and you are a despot, well, then it's certainly you, and you get all that, um, that's coming to you. Right, we're going past the first aid tent. So I'm, I'm doing this all wrong. I'm not picking up weapons. I'm not smashing down doors. I'm not picking up enough medical supplies. And I'm zipping through. Oh, there's a couple of armories there, but anyway. I'm zipping through like a fool. What's the best weapons you can get on this thing? As I reverse round, in reverse. Hello, everyone. My car's caught fire. Maybe put some sausages on the boot and um, have a barbecue. Would I have come back to this game as a kid? I think I would have done because, you know, you don't need to know the instructions. You know all the stuff I've done wrong so far. I haven't blasted down the doors of the armory to upgrade. But you sort of like know what to do. Uh, I did get a little bit of a distance without the cheats on before, so it gives you an incentive. But uh, with the cheats on, I would have gone all the way through the game, I think. How do we get through here? I mean, it's going to take you a little while to, to complete this game, so you would have got value for money. But as I say, it's not the most technically gifted game in the world, but the sounds are there. Run and gun. Yes. It just makes light of war, doesn't it? Run and gun. It always baffles me how a whole army can't take out one person. Very strange. Oh, oh dear, I was never going to outrun that. There's a truck there. It's a fly tipper. God, this despot's worse than I thought. He's just fly tipping everywhere. Now, taking over a whole land and imprisoning the people and getting them to be your slaves, that's one thing. But fly tipping. I always hope, always hope that one day the jewellers fly tips a load of gold and silver and, and emeralds and stuff on my garden, but it, it hasn't happened yet. That's the one type of fly tipping I won't um, tolerate. Also, as well, 
Um, if there's a fly in a restaurant that brings you your drink, I don't think you should tip them. Uh, but we're going off on a tangent here. This is all about war. What is it good for? Absolutely nothing. Who's powering my brain today? Same person as yesterday, and that's the problem. It's me. Oh, Eat lead, everyone. Oh, man. Come on. I don't need the armory. I've got in infinite weapons. That's the way I roll. Right, as we go through with these trees... Oh, look at that! They're shooting each other, these people. This is overkill. I mean, this level's still not ending anytime soon, is it? Going on and 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 on. Keep off. Does that keep out, that says? Right. How many times have I died so far? I don't know if anyone's keeping count, but it's quite an embarrassing number. They keep recruiting in this army. It's impossible to kill everyone. They must have pretty good wages, this despot, or, or does he control with fear? I'd like to see if the other stages are like different terrain. Like, this is a lot of grassland. Do we get to desert? Do we get snow? Do we get other vehicles? They're probably in that armory they should have gone in, but anyway. Uh, uh. So it's a vertical scroller. That's pretty much what we can uh, say about it. There's the wash. There's another jeep. There's a bullet in the nose. Let's have a wash this time. What does this do? Nothing. No, uh, there's no washing going on. They they wouldn't they wouldn't shoot me while I'm having a shower, would they? No, thank you. In we go. That's a nicely positioned car. If I can get in the thing, right, we're off. <laughs> Cracking cheese, Gromit. <laughs> get out of the way, everyone. I'm coming through in my jeep. They could have built a decent road here through all this. Oh man, the car's on fire again. Boom, boom. Oh, kaboom. The car exploded and I was just left in a field on my own. How many times have we seen that situation play out itself? Uh, never. If this was going to be remade on the PlayStation or something, it'd have to be pretty nifty. Is there any is there any vertical scrolling run and guns on the PlayStation? Have they just like completely ditched that now for first person shooters? Let me know. This is the sort of thing you normally only see in retro games. Don't fly tip, don't fly tip he's fly fly tipping again. They're really rubbing salt into the wound here. I don't know how we're gonna save the planet if everyone's fly chipping and using um, plastics. I mean, I, I I must admit I'm not very good at saving the world, um, both in computer gameplay and the real real life. Uh, I bought uh, a bag for life, but I lost it. Uh, now I own about three other bags for life, and I can't live three times. So um yeah, right. Let's get into this armory this time. Let's see if it's worth getting into. If we can shoot the door down, right? We're in. In the armory, what have we got? I think we've got some more more rockets or grenades. The weapons seem to be the same. So at least I've shown you once what's in that armory. More grenades and maybe some other stuff. Or maybe a big box of full stops. Because you know, like many retro games, you save the world by using as many full stops as you possibly can. There's a tank there. We know that can get destroyed. I can't get in there, I don't think. No. Yeah, if I was to do this again, which I'm not going to do it again... Um, I would shoot more doors open to try and get more weapons. Right, can't seem to get into that playground thing here. Let's go around the outside. Maybe you have to shoot a door. Oh, look, we're blocked. What's going on there? Um, right, maybe we have to shoot a door to go in and out. There, it must be penetrable somehow. Um, right. As I say, if you completed this stage, or indeed the whole game, let us know. What do I do here? Because I think it might be game over. I might get super stuck. Yeah, there's no obvious way through here, is there? It's, uh, now I'm starting to think that I should have picked up another vehicle from somewhere I haven't gone in. Or something special in the armoury that blows up walls. Because this, this weapon's too weedy for blowing down fences. Hmm. Hopefully I've shown you enough at least to know if you want to track this one down or not. Um, it's okay, I uh, wouldn't go out of my way to track it down. I've got, I've got a funny feeling, looking at the graphics here, it's one of those games that might look better, or, uh, or be better um, received, 
on 8-bit technology because it looks like the Amiga is trying to represent an 8-bit game here which isn't always the best sometimes it works out but not all the time so I'll have to get this on the I think it is on the list already for me to review on the uh, ZX Spectrum but one of my favorite games of all time is Commando so I'm gonna be a bit biased with how they actually um, uh, go together so yeah what's it like on the Spectrum I'll, I'll find out soon there's a guy trying to shoot through the fence but I don't think we'll stay with this one too much longer Hopefully you're having a good day. Um, if you want to see more um, videos and you're new to the channel, well, there's there's absolutely hundreds. So have a look in the uh, playlists um, on the channel. Um, any love of previous videos or any comments will be greatly appreciated. Um, I do uh, read the comments on older videos as well as the newer ones, and I quite often answer them as well. Right, three guys. We'll end, we'll end it here. So, hope you liked having a look at that one. That was Fernandez Must Die, because he's pretty evil, on the Commodore Amiga, published by Imageworks in 1988. If any comments about this game, similar games, or anything retro, then please put that below. I love reading your comments. Until next time, take great care of yourself, and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.